Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome to another episode of Playing World of Tanks. I'm AJ and today we'll be looking at a game that I had in my IS-3, which is the Russian Tier 8 Heavy Tank. Now, I was away for quite a while. I actually did not play World of Tanks in the meantime. I was basically just uh, looking for jobs and doing grown-up things. But uh, I started to play the game recently and fired it back up. This is a slightly older game. It was before I left. And in here, we'll try to see what you do when you're a low tier and you're trying to face against high tier opponents on the enemy team. So, yeah, that's exactly what we're going to do today. So, I'm going to the traditional uh, heavy camp spot just because I kind of figured that the enemy teams like heavies would be there and seeing that we don't have as many heavies by comparison. I thought it would be prudent to go there instead of going to the middle. Again, whatever tactics or strategy works best for you, you should always be able to adapt them to something else. Like, if circumstances change, you should be ready to we'll change that. And that was a very lucky shot. But uh, you should never take your scout there, just as a matter of point. I think the 7 is firing at the M48, so I sneak a shot in, and he puts one shot into me, so. I'm just waiting for him to reload to see if I can do something uh, more damage, but um, yeah, I absolutely have no idea what this 233 is doing. I track him in midair, uh, he repairs and backs off, and I back off as well, uh, waiting for more opportunity to present itself, and then I'll start firing again. No, I'm just waiting, I don't have to push, you know, I am not the tank here with the most HP, but I sneakily uh, put a shot into the T-34's upper cupola. Now the T-57 on the enemy team just wants to shoot at me and uh, kind of realizes that I have backup and backs off. I try to sneak in the shot but uh, it misses and he bounces as well so it's all good. I will move up again uh, because I know the T-57 is probably reloading and I can put one more shot into him and that I'm able to and then I back off because I know his reload is about 20-ish seconds so I don't want to uh, give him the opportunity to shoot me again so put a shot into the T-32 that was in front and I back off again. Again this uh, T-34 wants me so I'm not going to sit still and give him an easy shot. I'm trying to sneak a shot into his upper hatch again but I actually uh, bounce off of it but that's fine. I mean. He fired his reloads way longer. At this point, that the 183 just wanted to kill the, uh, the enemy tank, and that's fine. Uh, but he um, takes a shot for it from the T57. T57 tries to hide behind the T34, but one of his cheeks was showing, and it was pretty easy shot for me. Again, we have cleared this uh, flank completely. And at this point, um, I don't know what the enemy is doing. Some of them are mid. And again, you don't want to be the first one around this corner, especially if there's a TD on the enemy team that's been unspotted. The journey means they're camping on the peninsula or the 9-8 line somewhere. So, again, unfortunately uh, for me, um, or fortunately for me, or unfortunately for my friend, he gets taken out by the enemy TD. Turn around to see if I can put a shot into him. But I get shot in the side, and uh, at this point I don't have the best of the health left, so I'm just gonna let the SCI take the lead, and I'm just gonna stay behind him. Now the enemy are slowly pulling this back, and uh, that's uh, no um, key part because we are not playing that smartly, or our team's not playing that smartly. I'm trying to back up the SCI. No, there's a tank still there. I managed to take him out. At this point, I'm kind of caught between a rock and a hard place. The waffle behind me is uh, the shots on me, and there's a 183 which I'm pretty sure is coming this way. So I hatch my bets. I know I can't spot the waffle from where I am. I can try sneaking away, but that just might get me killed. So I'm gonna try to track the 183 um, as it comes around the corner. So I aim in, uh, hoping that I would catch him before. Uh, he gets lit and crosses the corpse, and he doesn't, so I'm forced to take the shot on the other side. Now I'm very careful not to back up too much, or else I would actually put the waffle easy shot. One and three comes around the corner, fires, and he's firing AP, so he bounces. And uh, he gets taken out for it. At this point, I am thinking of going after the waffle, but the lowering came all the way back just to do. And that was my game. 
At the end, uh, we wound up winning this game. Um, the M40 on our team managed to TD the Lorraine. And that's all she wrote for this little tidbit that I had here for you. Uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Feel free to like and subscribe. And uh, I will see you on the next episode, which should be in two days. Uh, should be back on normal schedule on World of Tanks.